Live from beautiful North Hollywood, California, it's Flashback Tonight starring Delius. We remember tonight's guest as the adorable Ben Seaver on the hit TV show Growing Pain. Jeremy Miller is here. We are back with Jeremy Miller from Growing Pains, as we said, was a private chef, and he's going to teach us how to cook something right now. I have to warn you, I know absolutely nothing about cooking, so... No problem at all. I'm at your mercy. So we're going to make a classic Roman dish. It's called pasta carbonara. Simple as can be, only about five ingredients, as you okay. can see. We got our pasta boiled already, so we're going to use a little bit of olive oil. This is a special one that I use. It's actually garlic-infused, kind of punches the flavor up a little bit. So where did you learn how to do all this? Uh, my grandmother was actually a self-trained chef. Okay. And she had her own restaurant. And even before that, I had kind of just grown up cooking with her. So that's all I ever did. Uh, I, from three years old, I followed her around the kitchen, cooking Thanksgiving dinner, cooking, you know, Easter. When she opened the restaurant, when we were doing the show, on hiatus during the summer, I'd go up uh, and work in the restaurant during the summer. So basically your grandmother uh, broke child labor laws by having you in the kitchen cooking. Basically, yes, is absolutely. What you're saying. Yes. I was a breakfast chef by 13, and you know, I, I just learned to love it. You were a breakfast chef by 13? Well, she opened the restaurant around the time I was 11. I started as a busboy for her during the summers and uh, worked my way up, and I just always loved to cook. Yeah, how long were you on Growing Pains for? Were you doing this at the same time you were doing Growing Pains? Yeah, it was, this was on our summer break. So I was uh, eight. I shot growing pains from eight to fifteen. Eight to fifteen. So it was almost half my life at that point. So we watched you grow up on TV as mm -hmm. little Benny Seaver, and now you're a private chef. And uh, have you cooked for anybody uh, special that we might know of? Uh, well, besides my castmates, who I have done some events for and stuff like that, uh -huh. uh, Alan Thick and Tracy and Joanna and Kirk, um, I've actually cooked for the Black Eyed Peas and Did you really? I, am. I cooked for their. It was their uh, thank you gift for the holidays for their office, uh, their recording studio office. Uh, okay, workers. tell me, you had to have made one of your dishes actually Black Eyed Peas. You made Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> you, that, 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 they you have to have. They didn't want me to make Black Eyed Peas, <laughs> although we did stay Southern. My roots are Cajun Creole, so uh -huh. I did a green gumbo, a Southern vegetarian gumbo for them that they absolutely loved. So. That was that was what we did, and they had a they really got a kick out of it. I didn't get to meet them actually, unfortunately. We yeah. talked on the phone a couple times. Oh really? But for the event, I had to. I was already booked on another gig, so I had to send the food. Oh man! So, but they loved it. I got lots of kudos, and they were very happy with it, which is all I ever care about when I'm cooking. Anyway, so I seasoned the oil with a little bit of garlic. This is pancetta. This is Italian bacon. Pancetta. Pancetta. <laughs> it's Italian. So the story behind this recipe is the World War II soldiers were craving a little bit of home. They were craving bacon and eggs. Mm -hmm. So they came to the wonderful people in Italy who they were fighting for, went to a farmhouse and brought them, bought some eggs and bacon from them and asked them to make them breakfast. Uh -huh. And this is the dish they came up with. Because to an Italian, it ain't a meal if it doesn't have pasta. So. They made them this dish, and they fell in love with it, and it became a classic. So why do they call this pancetta? Is that just bacon? It's basically, it's a unsmoked bacon. Okay. That's really the only difference between American bacon. It's a little subtler, it's a little uh, milder, but it's very rich in flavor. Unsmoked bacon. Yep. So that's a pig that done. doesn't smoke. We're gonna we add go. just a little bit of wine. Ooh. Wine? Wine. Can I, I don't have a cup, do I? Anybody? <laughs> well. I don't want to be ghetto. I was going to take it to the head. Oh, please. <laughs> There's people watching me now. You ain't offending me, man. <laughs> You're right. So we just let that kind of cook down. While that's doing that, we're going to... It smells delicious. Doesn't it smell amazing? Break our egg. Now, don't worry about it being a raw egg. The heat of the pasta is going to cook it. Wait, you're going to put that over a raw egg? Trust me. I trust you. So I may not try it. <laughs> But I'll trust you. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try. The heat of the pasta and the sauce. Yeah, we have cheese jumping on us. Um, the heat of the pasta basically just cooks the egg through. Okay. You get a quick, light sauce. It's basically egg, cheese, little bit of parsley, little bit of garlic. Now, what is this, this cheese that you're using? This is a Parmigiano Reggiano. That's the, you know, classic Italian cheese. Uh -huh. um, aged, very dry, and it's also actually one of the healthiest cheeses for you because it's so dry. It's actually higher by weight in protein than most meats. 
Okay. So Good to ounce know. for ounce, more protein in that than most meats. And actually, because it's so dry, lower in fat, healthier fats, all that good stuff. So is your, your style of cooking more of like a, a healthy sort of thing, or do you cook everything from well, fatty to healthy to I cook vegan? it all doing private chefing. It's kind of why I do it. I'm very ADD. So I'm all over the place. I get to cook healthy for people. I get to cook uh, Indian, Italian, Cajun, Creole, French, you know, whatever I feel like cooking, whatever they're in the mood for, I get to be creative. And I absolutely love that. So I stay healthy when a client wants it. Right. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm trying to get in better shape. You look good, Thank man. Thank you, man, I appreciate it. I've dropped about 40 pounds in the last year. 40? 40. Wow. It's amazing, like, you know, you see some child stars, and it's been a hard life for some of them, but, you know, how, how old are you right now? Am I'm, I lying? I'm 41. Y'all act like 41. I'm the only one that thought of me. Look at him, he looks great. This is a Thank seaver. <laughs> and if I, have, if I can toot my own horn, that's after, uh, you know, Oh, 22 years of alcohol abuse as well. So oh, I don't well, know how I pulled it off, good genes, whatever, but you know. Well, then there's that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, it's That's okay, knowledge. because you look good now. So whatever you went through, you, you, went, you came through it. So literally, we have cheese, we have parsley, we have pepper, and we have an egg. Okay. The salt in the cheese and the salt from the pancetta will be more than enough to season it. Uh-huh. So we're going to let that keep cooking away the liquid. We're going to take our pasta here. Now, you actually want some of the liquid in the sauce. Okay. The starch that is cooked out actually helps to thicken it. Right. And as it starts mixing with the oil and the cheese, it will create its own sauce. My God, if you guys can't smell this, this smells amazing. Sounds great, too. <laughs> hey, anytime you get that sizzle going, it's good. Uh -huh. So there we go. I can hear it. It's like snap, crackle, and pop for like, you know. <laughs> there we go. Now we're going to pour that sauce in. And this is something you can make quickly, apparently, right? Quickly, so if you cook it dinner for your family or something like that, get home late. Basically, the time it takes the pasta to cook is about the same amount of time that it takes you to saute everything and get it on the table. So the whole thing, start to finish, including the boiling of the water, probably take you about 20, 30 minutes. So that's amazing. So how many does this feed? How many do you make a whole big pot? Oh, you can make as much of this as you want. This little sir, this is probably one, you know, one good, healthy dinner portion. This smells amazing. Go ahead and dish it up a little bit here. And bam. All right, taste test. After you, my See friend. if he knew what he was doing. <laughs> like I'm gonna say something bad if it wasn't. <laughs> no, no. Mm. That is delicious. Ben, <laughs> Jeremy, Lee Seaver. You guys have to taste this. Hmm. I want you to taste a couple of them. Give me one of, the, one of those. Don't take my word for it. It's got the right I'm amount of garlic. It's got the right amount of a pancetta. I taste the egg, and you're right. It's amazing. See, it cooks completely through. Who wants to try this? Want to try this? Here, try this. Nope. Tell me if it's wrong. See, actually, come up here. Oh, okay. This we'll is my you. favorite part. Okay, this is why I cook. This Aha. is for people to eat oh, it and enjoy. Thank you. This is great. Okay, here we go. Mm. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Then this was amazing. For people who want to maybe hire you as a private chef, he does private chef work and uh, stuff like that, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Facebook at my fan page. It's Jeremy James Miller. Uh, on Instagram as well at mm -hmm. Mr. Jeremy James Miller. And if you just message me on there, uh, let me know what type of party you're interested in. You know, we could we do between six and twelve people come to your home, do a cooking party. We can do private chefing. What? Choose any style of food you want. I'll teach you a style of cuisine. We've done kids meals. We've done you know quick and healthy meals for soccer moms. We've done Indian, Italian, anything you can come up with. Gluten free meals too. Uh, gluten free as well as uh, you know low fat, low carb, anything you want. So it's awesome. I love it. You guys, put your hands together for Jeremy Miller. <laughs> Man, thank you so much. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, man.